Well, hello everybody. So, uh, today, um, this is my provisional Van Halen um, rig. Um, so, this is a Dynacomp compressor. Now, and that's just to, just to get some compression. Um, that's not strictly necessary. If I mean, if you're running at high volumes, the sound will be compressed anyway. But that's just to um, just to help with the sustain. Uh, then we're going into um, the Van Halen phase 90. Um, sort of dial set sort of between nine and ten o'clock. Um, and for overdrive, I'm using the Wampler Pinnacle. Now, I have I have got this one, but I found that the Pinnacle um, actually I think it sounds a little better, a little closer to um, to a five one fifty amplifier. Uh, I have got a video about that, uh, so I'll put a, a link below, um, so you can, you can make your own minds up. Uh, from there, we're going into the um, VVH flanger. Now that runs at 18 volts, so at the moment I'm running it on uh, batteries. I've got a couple of Dura cells in, in for that. Um, I'm hoping to get an 18 volt adapter soon, uh, because it is very greedy on uh, on power, that one. Uh, and then from there, we're going into the EVH chorus. Uh, I spoke about that recently. And then from there, into this TC Electronic delay. Now, I'd like to get um, an Echoplex um, reproduction, uh, MXRD, one of those as well. But but this is very good because you can actually um, do like tape delay with this as well. And there's a bit of EQ on it and, and so forth. And then again, not strictly necessary, is uh, this uh, reverb. Um, it's like I'm using a, a room reverb. Um, that's just to give it a bit of depth, but you don't really need that. I mean, like, if you're playing live, you, you're probably not going to need the reverb. Um, and then that's, at the moment, that's going into a katana. Um, now, at some point, uh, as I was talking about this overdrive, um, I'm hoping to get... Um, a 5150 uh, amplifier at, at some point. Uh, when I start playing live again, then I might up upgrade to um, a 5150. Um, so that would become redundant. Um, but for home use, I think that's very good. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, at the moment it's going into a, a Boss Katana. Um, so we'll get set up uh, and I'll give you some sounds and you can make your own mind up. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, so uh, Van Halen guitar, uh, it's going in clean at the moment. Uh, compressor. Yep. Yeah. Uh, put the pinnacle on. Um, delay, I think, next. Yep. Uh, reverb. Okay. Um, chorus. See, the chorus just binds it all together. Uh, then when we add the phaser in... So it's already starting to sound a bit more Van Halen now. Yeah? And then we can start getting the two of them. Yeah? 
Now the one thing that's missing is the flanger. But the thing about the um, the Van Halen flanger is it has this special button where it gives you that unchained sound. Um, so I'm going to try that. I'll take the take the phaser off. Um, now the idea is to um, like that, but you play that the chord, and then you drop on. So I was watching um, I was watching the Van Halen gig, the um, the Jimmy Kimmel. Um, you know, it's like um, it was a live show they did in about 2015, and I think they opened with Unchained. Um, and you can't see Eddie actually stamp, stamp, you can't see him stamp, stomping on the on the flanger pedal. So I don't know that like with the chorus and the flanger on at the same time. <laughs> Are on as well. There's a lot coming out of the amps when you're doing that, so um, it's something to think about. Uh, but I think the um, having the uh, the chorus, but that re like I was saying, that really helps that gels it all together. And just as by itself, yeah, by itself, it's it's um, it's quite a nice chorus, in fact, to have. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, I want to do a follow-up because um, I've got the wah pedal as well. Um, you don't believe me, do you? Yeah, so I've got the wah pedal. Um, here it is. Um, but I just um, at the moment it's, it's sort of impractical here because um, you know I need to be jumping up and down and running around the stage. <laughs> um, I haven't really got the room for that. Um, so, um, yeah. So, so thanks for watching. Um, if you if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, welcome to the channel if you've just found us. Um, please comment below, and I'll see you next time.